Hey guys, this is Paragate 8, and no, you're not dreaming this. We're actually going to be seeing the rest of the Dragon Ball Z Super Goku Den 2 alternate endings. Uh, yeah, well, actually, I might have missed one or two, but who cares about that, right? So, uh, yes, how this came to be. Uh, I was originally going to show off the rest of the endings during my birthday thing I was going to do last year, but I ultimately changed my mind about that. I was going to also show off all the other people in my adventures, too, but I, again, didn't want to do that because I was lazy. So anyway, without further ado, what the? Oh, oh, oh hey there, Shinron. Yeah, you, we don't, we're not playing the game right now, so screw off. There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in and see the rest of those endings. Okay, here's the first of the alternate endings. Uh, yes, this takes place after you, after we kicked Vegeta's butt all around and he gets yeah, completely knocked down, and Krillin has a sword, Yajirobe sword to be exact, and he's gonna go up and try to stab him. Now the correct answer is that you have to let him live and go to a spaceship and find another day. But in order to get to this alternate ending, we'll go ahead and actually kill him. Yep, stab the sword right into his heart and get my burial that I so wanted for Vegeta for killing all our friends. Yes, let's do it! Alright, yeah! And we stab Vegeta and he's dead! We did it, Gorilla! Yes, we did it! What? Uh, Goku, what's wrong? We made a mistake? Ha! <laughs> nah, you'll feel better about it once you, uh, get us some beers in you and then, you know, kill you up and whatnot. Yeah, so yes, we killed Vegeta! We saved the world! Yes! Nothing can go wrong! Nothing! Alright, so yeah, uh, Krillin went to Namek, we have to revive our friends after all. Okay, so that's uneventful, right? Hey, wait a minute, wasn't there Frieza, though? Yeah, he called in the Ginyu Force, and... Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I remember now! Gyudo, one of the... Or whatever his name is, one of the Ginyu Force members, he has, uses his Time Stop ability, and now Gohan and... And Krillin are frozen, and he's gonna throw a lock at them, and well... Yeah, you pretty much got what happens. Without Vegeta, he clearly didn't save them, and yeah, we're pretty much dead. <laughs> so yep, yeah, remember, make sure you let Vegeta live. <laughs> as much as you really want to kill him for what he did to everybody, he, you have to have him live. Oh, that sucks. Okay, now, this is technically not an alternate ending. This is actually more of an alternate scene. Yeah, uh, whenever you complete the game the first time, you're going to get choices in, in uh, places that you haven't before, and this is one of them. So basically, in this in this situation, um, Go uh, Bulba's mom, whatever, I don't know her name, uh, asks if Goha Goku wants to get some tea before uh, Dr. Brief is done with the spaceship to go to Namek. You can, uh, the right answer in the follow the manga, he, he doesn't accept it. Or, but in this alternate scene, you choose why, there you go, and he'll show, and she'll show her around, show Goku around to wherever. So, yeah, here we go. So, what's happening here? He, uh, okay, so yeah, I'm guessing that they're in the city. Yep, just like in the nature of this game, you only get things described to you, and you don't get to see any of it. Not even a picture or anything like that, like a picture of the city. Yeah, great. Great thing, game designers. Very great, de describing things instead of seeing it. Alright, so that ends that trip. Sorry I didn't describe it that much, but it really is completely stupid and uneventful. Alright, so we're here. Yep, uh, Dr. Brief comes in and things run like normal. Wow, that was so great. Isn't it just lovely how we get to see scenes like this? Alright, enough of that. Let's go on to another scene that's also pointless. Okay, yet again, this is also not an ending. This is another alternate scene. Now, remember, uh, when, uh, Ginyu was offering to do his dance of joy when they got all the Dragon Balls, I think? Then, uh, Frieza refused to, didn't want to see it. Well, if you complete the game again, you get to actually see the dance. And, uh, you don't have a choice in this. You, the game will just go through it, and you will see regardless. <laughs> so I hope you like that. <laughs> right. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Frieza wants to see it this time. So we get to what the what's going on? Huh? Oh. Oh. Okay, you're getting too close there. Uh, uh, okay, I, I don't know what's going on here. Whoa, uh, uh. Oh, and he, okay, he's shining. Don't know what that's about. Whoa! Uh, okay, uh, whoa. Oh, whoa, everything's going blind! It, his posterior's blinding me! Oh, oh, and I guess it's 
over. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, okay, and Frieza is speechless. I'm sure everyone else is, too. You don't have to humor him, it was very weird. But do you want to know the amazing part about that? Is that they actually decided to show us that one. You know, in sprites like that. Now, I don't know why they want to show other important things like that and just show us pictures. But, kudos to you, game, for that strange thing. Okay, so this is actually the last of the alternative endings this deep into the game. Now, I'm going to try to explain it. It might get complicated, so make sure you pay attention. Now, uh, this is, takes place during the whole Vegeta, uh, Goku, uh, Ginyu fight. Now, uh, uh, Vegeta came, Vegeta and everyone else came, and he's beating up, uh, Goku's body, which, uh, Ginyu is actually in, and, uh, Goku did some kind of a trick in order to get his own body back, but because of Vegeta's beating, he can't really move. And, uh, Ginyu is about to steal Vegeta's body, but Goku sees a frog hopping next to him, and he's thinking about if he wants to throw it between the two of them, so that way Ginyu trades body with the frog and becomes harmless. So, in the choices here, the right choice is to have him throw it, of course, but if you want to see the ending, he just doesn't do so. So, here we go. Yep. Oh, no! No, actually, that's not good. That means Ginyu trades the bodies with Vegeta, and we're all screwed! Oh, man! No! Ve he got all his powers somehow, even though he didn't have Goku's. I don't get that, but who cares about that, right? No! Boom! Yes, we're all... Unfortunately, we all died. That's just great. But there's also some bad news for him. Uh, because of his almighty power, he destroyed all the Dragon Balls, too. And, uh, Veg and Frieza thinks that that's actually Vegeta that did that, and he's very angry. So he's gonna go and kill, uh, Ginyu, even though he doesn't know that that's actually him. Ah, uh, man, I know that's all complicated, but yeah, it's unfortunately very sad. Everyone dies. Alright, so now that we're done with all the alternate endings in the second playthrough, I'm gonna go ahead and show you something really special. Remember in the main series of this game that I warned you that this choice was gonna be the most dangerous one because it won't end the game very well if you choose wrong? Well, as a special treat, I'm gonna show you what happens if you do choose wrong, and show you the two alternate endings in the first playthrough. Now, the correct choices are going to be the Y choice and the X choice, but here we're going to choose the Y and then the Y choice, which makes Gohan come with Krillin to go to the Big Chief. And you'll see why that's going to be a mistake later. Oh yeah, and by the way, you get to see these short scenes of uh, Nail trying to hold off Reason no big deal, blah blah, whatever, we're going to enjoy Thor these scenes. So yeah, uh, that's what they're doing. They're trying to go over to the Big Chief, I guess, to see what he can do with against Frieza. I actually don't remember. Oh well. So anyway, there's Din Day. We stop in the middle of that, just like in the normal scene. Except that Gohan's with us now. And he wants to go and speak with... And he tells us the password or something in order to free the uh, Dragon Balls. And... Oh, crap! Yes! If that's what happens if you know you get the bad ending, if uh, Vegeta is actually awake. And that means we have to make his immortal wish with the Dragon Balls. Oh man, that sucks. Uh, okay. So yeah, he says three wishes, and he makes Vegeta immortal pretty much. And he does says the worst line ever, haha, ha, so whatever. And he does it again. Ah, oh, man. Huh, what the? Oh, ha, sorry, I lied, people. Actually, there's three alternate endings to this game. Now, in this choice, you can either choose to cancel Vegeta's immortality wish, or just just summon up Piccolo and just go home and have the Dragon Balls get that uh, turn back to the law on Earth. If you choose the Piccolo one, this is what happens here. So yeah, pretty much uh, the Earth Dragon Balls are back now since Piccolo is alive. Now we just gotta uh, get out of here and just forget about everything. Yeah, and we win, I guess? Yeah, who cares? We did it! We're all back! Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, that's right, Vegeta's immortal and he's gonna kill us all, all now. Okay, so that's not good still. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> who cares, right? Alright, that's the end of that choice. Now let's choose the other one, which is the Vegeta one. That would basically mean that we're gonna take away his immortality, which so he won't be a threat anymore. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and choose the white choice right now. There we go. Okay, so yep, we canceled out Vegeta's immortality wish, so that means we only have one wish left. Uh, what are we gonna do with that one? Hey, let's wish for money! Alright, forget it, we're just gonna wish for Piccolo. That way, the Dracula Balls on Earth will be revived. And, uh, we're done! Yes! There's nothing else we gotta do left! Let's all go home and celebrate! 
Ah, uh, yes, that was a great adventure. I feel like we're forgetting something, though. What is it? Oh, yeah, uh, since Vegeta's not immortal anymore, uh, Frieza catch on and, and Vegeta's pretty much dead. So now, uh, Frieza, uh, is ticked off, I guess. I don't know what happens next. You fill in the blanks, people, because the game is not gonna do that for you. Alright, so that's it for that one. We're completely done with all this stuff. So, yeah, that's all the endings I can show you for now. I probably might show you some more later if you if I feel like it. Uh, now, I know I didn't show you that last ending for the first playthrough, so I'm just going to have to describe, you, describe it to you here because the game loves doing that. So, basically, if you ch for that first choice, if you choose X, which means that both Krillin and Gohan stays uh, behind, they just sit down and do absolutely nothing until Dende comes flying in and lands in them. They tell them that they gotta speak the Mickey into the Dragon Balls, whatever. Vegeta was awake the entire time, and they both didn't notice it. So yeah, pretty much it plays out exactly the same way, only except this time, you don't get any choices about whether you want Vegeta to be a mortal or not, because Frieza is al already killed Perunga, and he pretty much kills everybody. I mean, well, actually, he makes his wish from Peruga first to be immortal. Fanny kills him, and then he kills everybody else. Then the planet, then, well, yeah, you get the rest. And, yeah, that that's that ending. I'm sorry I didn't show you all that, but basically all that I described here is all you need to know about it. Huh. But I still feel bad that I didn't have that footage. Oh, well, if you still want me to get that one, I guess I can. And I know there's other things, uh, other, uh, Stuff too. There's a, is one other alternate ending, but it's kind of annoying to go through. You see, uh, I'll go ahead and describe it to you again. Remember that scene where uh, Krillin and Gohan goes off to that village and sees Frieza's gang, the Zarbon and Dodoria killing the elders and whatnot, and then uh, Dodoria pretty much kills almost all the Namics, and he killed uh, Dinde's brother, and he was go and he's about to kill. Uh, Dinde, Dinde, there's an earlier choice as to whether or not we decide to want to save him, I think. And if you choose not to save him, he dies, and then you just go through the game like normal. And you're wondering, what changed? I mean, uh, nothing particularly happens. And then, like, all of a sudden, in the middle of it, when Gohan has all the Dragon Balls, I don't remember the exact circumstance, so forgive me on that. But he has all the Dragon Balls and is about to make his wish, but then nothing happens. And then Nail comes and says some weird confusing things that the Chief dies, and the Dragon Balls are now useless. So nobody can be able to use it, and then that's pretty much the end of the game. That one is kind of confusing, and you have to go through the game normally. And it is very aggravating, because you don't know if you affected anything or not until, like, in the very middle, until you the, basically the game says that you lose and you're going to the end, the bad ending. And yeah, that does kind of suck. I'm sorry I didn't show you all that either. I don't know, if you really want to see that too, then that's fine, but I don't know if you probably want to see that. But if you want to, uh, be my guest. Also, again, there's more changes in the second playthrough, like more extra choices or, you know, especially regarding the Vegeta, I mean, the Nappa fight, there's a lot of changes. And if you want me to go through that, then I guess I can show you every last little thing that changes. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it up to you guys if you want to see that or not. So, again, I apologize for taking way too long and showing you the rest of these endings. Wasn't all those great, though. Half of these weren't even alternate endings at all. So, I guess I, uh, probably, that, uh, have a, and probably should have not called it the alternate ending stuff, but who cares, right? You see them all. I know you wanted to see these things for a long time, and I really wanted to show them to you. So there you go. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much. Hopefully, puts an end to Dragon Ball Z Goku that too. I don't want to go through this game anymore. I don't like this game. I already told you the reasons why in the uh, behind the LPs video that you that I'll post up here eventually about why I don't want to go through it again. I don't, I really don't want to say this game sucks, but it kind of slightly does. I'm sorry, but I don't want to play through this game anymore. But again, if you want to see the alternate endings and want to put me through heck to go through them to see it, then be my guest. I guess you want to torture me. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm ranting. I'm pretty much out of stuff to say now. So, that's it. That's it for Dragon Ball Z Super Goku and 2 alternate endings. 
I hope for that, hope forever. So, that's it. This is Paraguide 8. I'll see you guys later in a, some other video. Alright? Uh, hope you guys are happy. <laughs> because I'm certainly not. <laughs> okay, right. Alright, I'll see you guys later.